Azrael Clary and Jocelyn Savage are the two young ladies who are currently living with R. Kelly. Their parents for a long time have said that they are brainwashed and that R. Kelly is holding them against their will. The ladies sat down with Gail King on CBS this morning and told a totally different story. If this is your first time here, welcome to Messy World. You love Messy and we're here to bring it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Azrael Clary and 23-year-old Joycelyn Savage told us they love Kelly while their families claim he has brainwashed them. In an interview you'll see only on CBS this morning, the two women told us there is nothing inappropriate about their arrangement with the 52-year-old singer. What is your relationship, both of you, with, with, with R. Kelly? We're with him. That's yeah, our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, we that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. Right. You just said it. Uh -huh. A very strong relationship as both well. Both of you. Yes, yes, most definitely. You know, how do we say this without being inappropriate? Is this a three-way relationship, or do you each have a separate relationship with him? How does this work? Well, both I'm of curious. those. Yeah. Both we both have our individual relationships with him, and right. we all are family all together. We have our moments where we sit and watch movies all together. We go to amusement parks all together. I'm not talking about Azrael going to movies and sitting and watching, uh, going to parks. I'm talking about is it a, is it a three-way sexual relationship? Sexually? Between, well, first of all, I'm not here to talk about my personal life, okay. and I would never share with no one what I do in or outside of the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And as a woman, I'm sure you would not either. Yes. No, I wouldn't, but I... But, okay, then. But, so, no, yeah. no, you're next right. question. No, you're right. I would not, but this is a very different circumstance. It's not a different it's circumstance. A there question. are people all over the world who have multiple girlfriends. It's no different. Do both of you all believe you're in love with him? Of absolutely. Course. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Of course. Should your no. parents be concerned? No. Why? <clears throat> well, my parents knew where I've always been for four years. They have known. They know that I've been well taken care of. They never thought you were missing, Azrael. They just were wondering if you were okay. Well, my parents have actually came to Chicago and seen me a few times. They've, uh, I've talked to them. They stopped answering my calls. You know what they say? They say that you were, you were brainwashed. You're, I talked to your dad last night. He says, my daughter is brainwashed and he's very concerned. He said he was here two days ago and you wouldn't even look him in the eye. Okay, I wouldn't look him in the eye because he's a liar, and he's a manipulative liar. I'll tell you why they're concerned, Azrael, because they say she's 17. We found text messages that indicated that she was having sex with R. Kelly when she no. was 17. Is that true? No, that is a lie. That is a lie. I was not having sex with him at 17. Why would they want to lie about you, their daughter? Okay, so <laughs> when I first met Robert, my parents told me to lie about my age. So when I met him, he thought that I was 18. On top of that, when I was 17, my parents were actually making me, trying to get me to take photos with him, take sexual videos with him, all kinds of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Your parents encouraged you to do sexual videos yes. with R. Kelly? Yes. And they said, because if they ever have to blackmail him, what they're trying to do now, they can use it against him, which is exactly what they're doing. Uh, Joycelyn, I see you nodding a lot with what yes. she's saying. Why are you nodding in agreement with what she's saying? Because everything that she's saying is true. Um, our parents are basically out here just to get money and your they're parents, scamming. You're saying the same as saying? Well, both our parents. Both our parents are basically yeah. out here to trying to get money and scam because they didn't agree on what happened, you know, with music or wherever it could be, and they're just very upset. This is the first time hearing, to be honest with you, that your parents are trying to get money from R. Kelly. Okay. Because your father told a very different story <clears throat> yeah, to well, me last night. Yeah, he's, he's the manipulative. He's very manipulative, mm -hmm. so <laughs> he's the one you need to watch out for. But uh, my dad and my mom, they started to send threats to both me and him. They said, oh, I'll put all your naked pictures all over the world. I'm going to ruin you. I'm going to ruin him. If he doesn't send $20,000 to this bank account by Monday, oh, I'm going to put everything out there and then $10,000 after that. You're trying to solicit me like I'm some f***ing hoe. I'm not. I'm your child. Exactly. Yeah, you sound very angry with your parents. Uh, you sound very angry and very pained. Tell me, Ashwa, why you're crying. Tell me. I'm crying because you guys don't know the truth. You guys are believing some facade that our parents are saying. This is all lies for money. And if you can't see that, you're ignorant and you're stupid as because you want to be. 
all because that's the world we live in. Negativity sells. Exactly. Gossip is what sells. Exactly. Rumors are what sells. Exactly. But Jocelyn and, and Azrael, this is more than gossip. This is more than just rumors. These are decades of allegations against Robert Kelly. We're not here to talk about decades. We're here to talk about what our parents are doing right now. Right. And what they're doing right now is all for money. Right. Now, both sets of parents deny ever asking Kelly for money or receiving money from him. You know, as I watched that, uh, that as I was talking to them, because I had talked to the father, there are two very different stories. I'm sure Mr. Clary, if he watches this this morning, his head will explode because he has a very different version of what these young women are saying. And uh, his team had told us that R. Kelly would not be in the room. After the interview started, he was b around the corner behind them. They couldn't yes. see him. But at points, at, at points during the conversation, he would call very loudly like that, so they were aware that he was there. He wanted them to know that he, he tried yeah, he, to stop the interview backstage a couple yeah, times. Yeah, a couple of times. He, Laz, who has taken those amazing photos that you've seen, uh, is my makeup artist, who's also a very good photographer, as you also see. R. Kelly came up to him and said, should I stop this interview? Should I stop this interview? He never did. So the girls at some point were certainly aware that he was there. And I, wa I just wanted to say as a mother, get your things, let's go. You are 21, you are 23, and he is 52 years old. And I know many people believe age is just a number. When you're looking at these young women, they parent, uh, parrot rather, a lot of what he is saying. It's, it's ugly to watch, but abuse is ugly. Mm -hmm. And the manipulation that continues and the, the, the powerlessness and trying to feel powerful and the blame, it's, these are... You know, it's a bad situation. Yeah. I think one day, years from now, they will... Everybody will look back on this and just say it's very sad, very tawdry, and just very, very ugly. I hope that what comes of this is that people go to the websites, and we should post yes. them too, that his ex-wife talked about, where you can look at the signs of whether you're in an mm -hmm. abusive relationship mm -hmm. or not, because you'll find out, hey, I'm in eight of these ten, and then you realize, I need help. Yeah, now, they do not think they're being abused or manipulated or brainwashed, but again, they're 21 and 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, I told y'all R. Kelly was going back to jail, and I said this in a video a few weeks ago. And as you may know, Wednesday night, R. Kelly was jailed for over 160000 in back child support. In the interview, R. Kelly did with Gail King claims that he just wants to have a relationship with his kids. But R. Kelly's kids are in their early 20s, so he's had plenty of time to have a relationship with his kids. And one of Kelly's daughters claimed in an Instagram post that she and her siblings have not had a relationship with their dad for years. Anyways, let's get into this interview with his living girlfriends. So first off, kudos to Gail King for remaining professional because the way Azrael Clary was responding to her was very disrespectful. When Gail asked her, is this a three-way sexual relationship, then she's not going to talk about her personal life. That's funny because the reason you are doing the interview is to talk about your personal life. You're not on the show to talk about the career that you don't have. Hello, you're there to talk about the personal life you have with R. Kelly. Then when the tears came about her parents being the manipulative ones and lying to get money from R. Kelly, I'm not going to say that I doubt that. It could be true. But I don't believe those tears were there because she is upset with her parents. Those tears were there because she is expressing a deeper hurt. To me, it's evidence of emotional abuse and that she is probably being manipulated by R. Kelly. Azriel may be with R. Kelly by choice for now, but it definitely seems like in a few years she will regret the choices she is making now. And can we talk about that poor Jocelyn, who is the eldest of the two at 23? She seems like a little yes woman, just agreeing with any and everything Ezra had to say. She doesn't seem to have a mind of her own. Azrael dominated the interview the entire time. Reportedly, Jocelyn just had a phone conversation with her parents, which she hasn't spoken to in over two years. And she let them know that she's okay, and she says that she's very happy. Go ahead and watch this clip of the phone conversation that she has with her family at the office of their lawyer. Um, I just want to let you know, like right now, I just listen, like really listen to me. I have told you guys a million, million times, and I Can you please come home? I love you too. Please come back on the phone. 
Can you please come I'm here, Jocelyn. I'm here, Jocelyn. Like I said a million and a million times, Mom, I can, need my help. Can you please come on? I'm not. Can you, do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm listening to you, Jocelyn. Okay. I'm happy where I'm at. I told you a million and a million times where I am, and I'm very happy. Why haven't you been able to I call? Why haven't you been able to call anybody in your family or friends? Okay. I get what you're saying, but I need you to understand. I understand you're happy, but why haven't you been able to call any of your family or your friends and come to your dad's granddaddy's funeral and you know your grandmother has stage four cancer, you haven't called her and they're very wary. Okay. How will we know you're happy when we don't hear from you in two years? Well, I have to go now. I love you, Jocelyn. I have to go now. You have to go? Okay. Mommy loves you, and no matter what, no, what nobody says, we love you. Okay. Okay, so as you can see from that clip, she says that she is very happy, but from that interview and the phone conversation, she doesn't seem happy at all. I mean, why does she have to get off the phone so abruptly? And her mother sounds like any concerned and loving mother would be. Why haven't you called in two years? If you're so happy, why haven't you let us know? Especially when your grandparents have been sick, dying, they've been worried about you. Jason Lynn definitely got off the phone like she was under duress and as if someone was standing over her telling her she had a time limit time limit or something and the way her mother ended the conversation saying that she loves her no matter what anybody says or thinks that doesn't sound like a mom who would pimp or prostitute their daughter just to get some money from R. Kelly, like Jocelyn claimed in the interview. This was definitely a heartbreaking conversation to listen to. Listen to what R. Kelly had to say about his relationships with these young women that he calls his girlfriend. Interview, But here's what Kelly told us about the two young women. What is your relationship with them? I love them and it's almost, it's like they're my girlfriends. It's like, you know, we have a relationship. It's real. And I know guys, like I've known guys all my life to have five or six women, okay? So don't go there on me, okay? Because that's the truth. The fact that they're much younger than you. I don't look at much younger than me. I just look at legal. I just look at you're you, I'm me. Now, I don't know if you're married. I don't know. I don't know if you had a relationship. I don't know what you, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But one might be older than the other. Mm -hmm. One might be younger than the other, mm -hmm. okay? So I just look at legal, okay? People, there are older men that like younger women. Is that there you? are younger women that like older men. Are you an older man that likes younger women? I'm an older man that love all women. Okay. Kelly says he met Joycelyn Savage after her father brought her to one of his concerts when she was 19. I didn't go looking for a Jocelyn Savage. I was doing my show. He brought her and asked a friend of mine to put her on the stage with R. Kelly. Make sure she's on the stage. Mm -hmm. Asriel Clary also met Kelly at one of his concerts. Her parents say Kelly pulled the then 17-year-old on stage back in 2015. They say they had hoped that she would become Kelly's musical protege. Asriel Clary, what can you tell? What is your relationship with her? Right now, I'm seeing her. You were seeing yeah, her. Yeah, she's 21. I'm seeing her. She's 21. Yeah. But did you start seeing her at 17? Absolutely not. Did you have sex with her when she was 17? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Although her parents wanted me to. No, her parents claim they have text messages that show that you had sex with her when claim, she was 17. Claim. So you're saying you did not have sex with her Absolutely when she was 17? Absolutely not. You are with two women right now. You love them. They say they love you. What kind of love is it that keeps these these young women away from their families. When their you, families are saying, these, I'm talking right now about Jocelyn because you and know, Azure. I'm going to answer your question. What, what kind, kind of, of love father, is that? What kind of father, what kind of mother will sell their daughter to a man? Who did that? How come it was okay for me to see them until they wasn't getting no money from it? Why would you take your daughter if I'm going to take my daughter and she's 19 years old 
to a 49-year-old icon, whatever, celebrity, or R. Kelly concert, or whoever it is. I'm not going to put her on the stage and leave her. I'm going to take her to the concert. Their father is more into my music and know about my music than they do. You're saying the, the parents handed their daughters, Azurel and Jocelyn, over to you? Is that what you're saying to us? Absolutely. Are the cameras you, still you, going? Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know you... you suggesting you, that... That, that the parents sold the daughters to him? He, he is saying that the parents are in it for the money, is what he's saying. He is saying that the, both, the, both sets of parents brought the daughters to him in hopes that they would work together and that the parents could do a deal with them, that maybe the daughters could work. I mean, he tells a very different story. I talked to Azarel's father the night before the interview. He very much believes that his daughter's been brainwashed. He says his daughter loves to sing, and that's how she got involved with R. Kelly. He says he has text messages that prove they had sex when she was 17. And he, so, you know, there's all sorts of court cases going on. It really is, Nora, I have just to have to say, I, I, hot mess all the way around I, I, on all sides, on all sides. And Jocelyn's... All right, so just like Gail King said, this is a hot mess. Tell us what you think about it. Are you buying what Azrael Clay is selling us, that her parents are the manipulative ones out to get money from R. Kelly? Or do you think these girlfriends have been brainwashed and are being manipulated to be with and stay with R. Kelly? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.